usually we get people that call 911 with stupid things. They get drunk and they go, eh, I'm going to call 911 because they didn't give me fries with my Happy Meal. Those are the or, best ones. The pe- right. The people that do a drive through and they wanted extra fries and didn't get them. So they call 911. Yeah. So we got a new one now. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> a lady calling 911. Uh, and she wants to order a pizza. So oh. pay attention. Okay. I would like to order a pizza at... You called 911 to order a pizza? Uh, yeah, apartment... This is the wrong number to call for a pizza. <laughs> no, 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 you're not. I'm getting you now. In his 14 years of service, this is a call Oregon dispatcher Tim oh. Tenick has never gotten before. You see it on Facebook, but it's not something that anybody has ever been trained for. We're just trained to listen. He says brilliant. domestic oh, violence calls this is are brilliant, common, but not like this. Is the other guy still there? Yep. I need a large pizza. All right. How about medical? You need medical? No. With pepperoni. After this exchange, Tenek alerted officers to hurry. Turn your sirens off before you get there. Really? Ordered a Love pizza. this guy. And agreed with everything I said that there's domestic violence going on. Tenick says his intuition that something wasn't right kicked in, which to him reaffirms how important listening is in his line of work. Thank you. How can I help you? Other dispatchers that I've talked to would not have picked up on this. Mm-hmm. They've told me they wouldn't mm. have picked up on this. They're excellent dispatch work on the part Give of Give him dispatcher. a raise. Some dispatchers uh, may have hung up. Oregon yep. Police Chief Michael Navarre told me that ordering a pizza to indicate domestic violence is something he's never heard of. Not in all wow. my years, not in my 42 years of law enforcement. But coming up with some kind of code to alert 911 that you're in trouble is the right thing to do. Brilliant. It's the chief such says a great if idea. If you ever find yourself Isn't in a though? similar situation, here's what you should do. Somehow or another, convey to that police dispatcher that you're in trouble. And this How, though? Did she did that not with her words, but with the tone of her voice. Right. Thanks to the quick thinking of both the caller and the dispatcher, the alleged abuser, Simon Lopez, was arrested and locked up. He handled the call beautifully, and it had a happy ending. Wow, that's fascinating. You, you know, know I got to tell you, I, I wonder... Violence. They're right. Like, a lot of other 911 people would have definitely hung up and been like, this is a crank caller. You're calling the wrong number. Mm. I, I like the fact that she was like, no, I'm calling the right number. I need a pizza. And I love that it clicked in his head that she wasn't drunk. She wasn't being one of those belligerent people. She was truly in trouble. But that should be like code. We sh- that should be part of what we do now for training 911 and training the police, especially for women. Like if you think about it, like the problem with domestic violence, I started to get serious for a second, but I think this is important. Um, the problem with domestic violence is that it, a lot of it goes unreported because women are afraid to report it. Right. So and especially when the abuser is like standing 10 feet away from you. So we need code words and those code words should be like, I need a pizza with pineapple on it. You know, like there needs to be like a something that would ring a bell. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying there should be there should be code words that women can use to let um, the authorities know that they're in trouble without letting their abuser understand what's happening one lady today and this this happened twice in one day so one lady went into she went into a library uh bathroom and a walmart bathroom and she left notes in the bathroom (gasps) so she's like hey i gotta use the bathroom wait right here went in there left a note with the apartment the number and all that so somebody found that so I guess and, keep your and, eyes and, open. And call the, wait, wait, and call the police and say, and this, police. Is not, this might not be a crank thing. This might be real. Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying is keep your eyes and ears open for anything. So, but ordering a pizza, that's brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, such a brilliant idea. And I love that the guy picked up on it. But, you know, women in bathrooms, let me just tell you, like, th- you don't know this because you're a guy. Like, You go into a bathroom, you keep your eyes forward, you do your business and you turn around and you leave. Mm-hmm. Women in bathrooms. I mean, we walk in there, strangers and walk out best friends. I, I can't tell you how many bathrooms I've walked into where there is just a girl sitting there crying. And I'm like, what's going on, honey? Tell me everything. <laughs> and we and you sit there and just you hear the, the person's whole story. Some guy just dumped them. and He's out there with his new girlfriend, you know, whatever, whatever the drama is like mm. we get up in each other's business. So I like that women can go to 
bathrooms, public restrooms, and let other women know that there's a problem. If I walked into a restroom and a guy was sitting crying, <laughs> I would go, what's wrong? Let me help you. <laughs> you, would go, you would run out of that bathroom and find another one. You'd be like, I'm going to hold it. Yeah, I, I don't have to go that bad. <laughs> I'll hold it till I get home. <laughs> I will, I, before I get into that drama, I will pee my own pants <laughs> before I talk to any guy. You, you do not talk to anybody in the bathroom. If you walk in and you know somebody, God, I hate that. Yeah, that's the worst. Oh, my God. And I hate. Oh, this is the worst. So um, I worked at this one radio station where there was one women's bathroom on the floor. So everybody used it. It wasn't just the DJs. It was like literally everybody who was on the floor. Mm -hmm. And I hated the fact. So I'd be in there in the middle of a shift or be commercial or song or whatever. And I would run in there to pee. And I'd be in there peeing and like some salesperson would be at the at the sink talking to me. Oh, no. I don't I, go I do away. Not, yeah. Don't talk to me while I'm peeing and my vagina's out. Like, oh. don't, don't talk to me. <laughs> like, wait, wait until I've wiped and like w left the room and wait till you can see my face. If you can't see my face, don't talk to me. If you hear urine, pretend you don't know me. <laughs> People are way too comfortable. I don't let my boyfriend in the bathroom when I'm peeing. What? We don't pee. I've been with him almost 12 years. We don't pee in front of each other. You know what I'm saying? So I, I definitely don't want a woman that I work with in sales or whatever, whatever department she works in talking to me while I'm peeing. No, yeah, the other not. day, my boss walked into the bathroom and he goes, who's in here? Oh God. <laughs> uh, Anthony, who? <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> How long are you going to be? I don't know. Maybe uh, another minute. Give me a minute. Oh, but the ball's like, there's 14 other bathrooms in this place. Go away. <laughs> and more now that, that I, you made me aware of the fact that you're waiting out the door. <laughs> it's going to take me even longer now. Thank uh, you. Yeah. So nothing's worse than that. I don't want, I don't, I want to sneak in the bathroom. I don't want anybody to see me in there, especially in that stall. I don't want yeah. people to know I'm in there doing that. Don't make me announce my name. <laughs> <laughs> now he thinks all I do is is play games in the bathroom all day long to hide from him. And what if you had a poo? Then it's like it's going to smell. And it's like, well, who made this smell? Anthony. No. Now when he goes to the bathroom and smells that, he's going to think it's me. That's my point. All I'm, the that's time. What I'm saying. Anthony was in here. No, I, I haven't been in there all day. No, Where you were probably. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. every Just time I go day. in there, you're there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go to another bathroom. You're on the same bathroom schedule as him. That's like women that our periods sync up. Mm -hmm. I think men, when they get together, their pee schedule syncs up. Oh, great.